Hey everybody, Fletch from All Things Overlanding here. Um, on today's episode, we're going to be talking about a product that is super tiny, um, something that will make your life a heck of a lot easier, and also something that will allow you to sort of change your cooking habits if you, you know, have kind of been locked into trying to carry as little gear as possible before. This thing may help you take some additional food items with you without carrying a bunch of extra gear. So if you want to learn more, stay tuned. everybody as I mentioned on today's three minute Thursday we're gonna be talking about the p51 military can opener um, you know a lot of times you may hear that the things that the military invents aren't that great or they're you know maybe a little bit less than quality the nice thing about these is they're actually fantastic um, if you google and I'll put a few links below but if you look up some videos of the p51 in action this thing's a monster it opens cans it's super simple, it's tiny, it's thin, it weighs nothing. You can, I literally my plans are to throw this on a keychain, throw them in the truck, throw them in my cooking sets, everywhere. I got four of them. So um, can't recommend these things enough. I've used them a couple of times myself. I didn't record that unfortunately, but I will the next time. Um, but I will, uh, I will, like I said, post some videos down below, some links to some videos of people using them because they are just fantastically simple to use. So. Again, let's dive into the benefits of this. So these things are, as you can see here, I've got four of them. So I got four for about four and a half bucks on Amazon. Shipped, prime shipping, next day delivery. I had four of these things in my door for about four bucks. So when you look at, you know, the big, huge can openers that I feel like break pretty frequently, they take up a lot of space, they're not very convenient. You know, you may or may not open cans all that often that where you need them. Um, this may be a great option for you. And again, just having it when, like for example, on my last trip that I went on, um, we were in West Virginia in the middle of nowhere. I was kind of getting tired of food that I brought with me. We stopped at a grocery store. I picked up a can of chili. I was super excited. Did not think about how I was gonna open it. Just bought it, took it out, get to camp that night, <clears throat> pulled the can out and went, oh crap, how am I gonna open this thing, right? Um, so I ended up having to use a fixed blade knife and gritting my teeth the whole time and just opening it that way, put a couple holes in it, poured the chili out. Um, it worked, I cleaned off the knife, it, I'll sharpen it up later, it's fine. But um, the the moral of that story is be prepared, right? Just like everything with, with overlanding. So having one of these little deals in your kit would be a really great way to open that can without any of that fuss or, you know, and again, for the price, even if you open 10 cans with one of these things, go buy more, it's no problem. So um, <clears throat> again, the, the benefits of this thing are, they're very inexpensive. Um, they easily open a can, like surprisingly, considering how small they are, you basically, you pop this little can opener thing out, right? You see this little tooth here. So you can see it here, this little tooth thing here. You basically put this on the top of the can, the sharp pointy part, put this on the lip of the can, and then you use it like a lever. And you basically just go like that and it, it cleaves right into the can and then you can just go like that all the way around the can and open up the can. Um, so again, it uses leverage. It's not like you're, you're trying to pull this little tiny thing through with your fingers or anything like that. Like it just all uses leverage on the, on the lip of the can and with this blade and it just easily opens cans. You don't need any mechanics. You don't need any electrics. It's just a simple, simple tool that does the job. So I personally love this thing. Um, Kind of my my plan is actually, recently I, I considered buying a fridge freezer. I ended up not buying the fridge freezer because there's there's more involved in a fridge freezer than just the freezer itself. Um, you need a deep cycle battery. You may or may not need a double, you know, dual battery setup. Um, I was considering solar to charge all that stuff, but you know, honestly, it just seemed needlessly complex. Um, so my plan, and this is where this comes in, is actually just to go to more canned goods and use a smaller cooler so I can actually decrease my footprint inside of the vehicle um, as far as what I'm carrying. 
and uh, and just go to more canned goods. So more chilies, more soups, things like that that come in cans. Um, and then just use my cooler primarily for, you know, small items, you know, water, pop, beer, things like that. Um, and then mostly just have canned goods that I'll already have in the truck. So the beauty is I can just hop in the truck, go whenever I'm ready to go camping and, uh, and have everything that I need right there on me. So again, these P51 military can openers are a great item for the money. They're a great price. Um, I would highly recommend them. I will put links down below in the description. Um, that pretty much cuts it for the three minute Thursday. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for stopping by. Um, hope you enjoyed the content. Hope you got some good information out of it. Um, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button. If you like this video, click like below. If you have comments as far as other things you'd like to see reviewed or, um, you know, trips that you'd like to see me take, things like that, please comment down below and let me know what you think. Let me know what you'd like to see. And I'd be happy to respond to you and happy to, you know, do my best to take care of you and, and make that video a reality. So again, thanks so much for stopping by. Get, as I always say, get out there, live, learn, discover, and, uh, come back for the next three minute Thursday. Thanks guys. Have a good one. Bye.